Hi, welcome back. We're about to uh, start episode three, but want to do a check-in. Um, as you see, I've quite a, done quite a bit of farming and upgrading of buildings. Uh, workshop is level three. It's going to take about, what is it, 33,000? Yes, 33,000 tomatoes, so I'm getting ready to do that. Uh, my council I can upgrade when I hit level 14, so kind of gearing towards that as well. I'm upgrading my hospital right now, hopefully get me to 14. If that doesn't, I'll upgrade something else very small in order to get there. Uh, radio tent's maxed out for right now. Oh, it's not maxed out. 33,000 for that also. The uh, training grounds is maxed out until my council is. There's the outposts, there's the storages. Um, 30k for both of those also, so... Still plenty to do, but like I say, I figured start getting into uh, the episode three just to keep moving on. Um, been leveling my uh, hunters as well. As you see, I got quite a few sevens here, enough for a team, and I've been basically letting the other ones just go on the side because I'm not going to be using them, utilizing them as much. So it's going to be all about our hunters for right now. So we may, if uh, we can get enough tomatoes here in the next uh, day or so, upgrade uh, council and maybe the radio tent again, and then do a couple more calls. Uh, got 23 calls, or 23 calls, 23 radios, so I may do a few fives and try to get some epics and more rare hunters. But, you know, we're still a uh, 33% chance because we have the hunter the scout and the bruiser available so you know just gotta toss the dice and see how that goes so the, like I say the next thing we're gonna be doing is hitting episode 3 real quick so this is gonna be uh, mission 1 episode 3 level 4 recommended or 7's are gonna be more than enough I'm gonna switch out uh, Jayhawk here for Necro just because he's a little higher um, let's check out her gear Uh, for one point, I'm not going to change it out. That's fine. Oh, let me show you what Necro's wearing. Uh, a couple of epic pieces. The uh, armor is unleveled, of course. No reason to spend the EXP if I'm just going to dump it anyway for a higher level gear. And the same with uh, Ida here. She's got unleveled gear. And it's not going to matter because it's all about damage, really, at this point. It's not... I'm not going to try to do any kind of strategy or anything. We're just going to run and gun these guys so it shouldn't matter you know for dodge interrupt or anything else at this point we should be able to overpower all the walkers in here until we get to uh probably uh the next episode and of course it's armored <laughs> awesome that's all right though we'll still be able to power through these guys um so we got three here. Let's see how we do. All right. Yeah, it's just barely going to take over two shots to get these guys. That's not too bad. So I believe our other armored back there is on the back side. So he's not going to really come into play. So let's go ahead and finish him off. And now we'll shoot through the fence at these guys. Uh, one at a time. That's fine. You know, again, range makes all the difference. Um, you're seeing the armored are going to take uh, two hits each. That's fine. We'll just shoot through the fence and not have to worry about getting uh, hit by these guys. Uh, actually, I wonder if I... Yep. Try to get two in one shot. And I'll finish out this guy. Or not finish him out as the case may be. Hopefully they'll line up there so I can get both of them. With one shot. There we go. Open the door with Ida. And take another pot shot here. Let's see if we can knock if we will get out. That's right. So uh, once we get them charged up, 
they should probably be able to sh one shot the uh, armored and we'll certainly probably need to find out here pretty soon all right so um Hmm. Let's try this one. Just trying to get through as many of these guys as I can. And I didn't want to block myself off that way. That's all right. We're going to have some guys coming behind us, but we'll outrun them. It's not a big deal. And we can even take Ida up here and possibly shoot across about right there. Yeah, two out of three ain't bad. So there's our next chest back over here. Um, probably going to be two or three walkers hiding up there in the in the top right. So we'll go deal with them. And Ida, let's do her crit shot. That's uh, not going to work. Okay. So, hmm, might be able to uh, get an overwatch and hit him when he comes down towards, let's see how it goes here. Oh, okay, our armor didn't move, nice. So we're just going to move Necro over, 1 AP, use his uh, crit shot. And there you go, one hit. Nice. And as you saw the effect for uh, Ida's uh, crit shot was still active. It does that until you move. So if I would have stayed there, it would have given a, probably a full shot instead of a uh, overwatch shot. Which, you know, kind of a glitch, but it does use your uh, overwatch and your uh, crit shot to make it a wriggle. And it doesn't look like her effect is on. There we go. So hopefully one shot will do it. There we go. And just because of the regular spawns, we won't be able to stand up to the uh, our hunter's uh, regular shot right now. So I'm just going to try to get up here and uncover anybody. Okay, nobody's there. So let's run right over. And like I say, that's the uh, important thing with the uh, hunter is their range and how far they can hit stuff away from them. Exit's lit up, so we just got to open the gate. I think we can only move up to about here-ish and still hit this walker, so plenty of time to get out of here. And this uh, gate's a little different. We actually have to move out of the way for our other survivors to come through. Make it a little easier for them. And there we go. Quick, fast, and easy. So thank you for watching. I will uh, be doing the next missions very quickly here for us. So that way we can get to the next episode. It's... It's basically time for us to get on. And I'm not going to chase the uh, one silver box. I'm going to save my videos for when we're doing deadlies. And I've been farming deadlies lately. Uh, sorry about the uh, noise outside. But I'll end it here. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you down the road.